Welcome back to the homestead, y'all. Here's your Hippie Hill quick tip. But before I start, I need to give a disclaimer. This tip has to do with electricity and working with electricity. If you're not comfortable with it, find a licensed electrician, find the manufacturer of your skill saw, find an authorized dealer to do this for you. Um, but for those of you who are comfortable doing it, make sure you do it safely, make sure you do it correct, so that way you don't get hurt. But what it is is, how many of you have ever went to rip a piece of plywood with a skill saw and get about three quarters of the way through it and your skill saw stops? And the reason it stops is the end of your cord catches on the end of the piece of plywood. Then you have to stop, you have to reach back there, you have to flip it up over it and then finish cutting your plywood. Well, this is something I've done to every skill saw that I've owned since the mid 80s. I've replaced the cord. I put at least a 10 foot cord on it. It's very simple to do. On this particular skill saw, this is a Makita, there's three screws to take out. Your electrical wire comes in, you take all three screws out, you pull the old wire out, put the new wire in, wire it up the exact same way, get your replacement in that you can get at Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, every hardware store carries them, wire it in correctly, and you're good to go. So that way when you rip a piece of plywood, your cord never catches on the end. There is one thing I do want to talk about. This isn't just regular cord. This particular piece is a piece I had laying around. So this is actually a 12 foot cord, but this is Southwire Viper cord. It's an SJ series. It's water resistant, oil resistant, chemical resistant wire, and it's 14 gauge. Now, how do you know what gauge wire to use on your particular skill saw? On this skill saw, there's a plate right here that tells the voltage and the amperage. 14 gauge wire can handle up to 15 amps. If it's over 15 amps, actually if it's over 14 amps, I would go up to the next size wire, I would use 12 gauge wire. This particular skill saw is 12 amps. So I used 14 gauge on it. It can handle 15 amps. This is only 12 amps. Even on startup, it probably pulls a little bit more than that, but it's more than enough to handle the amperage of this skill saw. So if you put you a longer cord on your skill saw, it'll save you a lot of time and aggravation. Another tip, one thing I do for those of you who are new to using a skill saw, when I'm using my skill saw, I'm right-handed, so I always hold the cord in my left hand. Now that does two things. That keeps your cord away from your blade so you don't cut your cord, which any of us that have used skill saws for any time whatsoever, we've cut cords before. And another thing it does, it keeps your fingers on your free hand away from the blade so you don't cut them also. But that's your tip. Thanks for watching.